What's up, Legacy Builders? I'm Rob. I'm Rishon. And, and this, this is, is Learn, Learn, Hustle, Hustle, Grow. Learn, Hustle, Grow is about creating a legacy. We're here to share our passions for money, marriage, and travel with other Legacy Builders like you. you. They say art imitates life. This is certainly true of the movie Marriage Story. Yes. In our video today, we are going to discuss our thoughts on the movie. So be aware if you plan to watch it, there will be spoilers in this discussion. Mad spoilers. It's mad spoilers. Don't watch this if you have not seen it yet, unless you just don't care. But uh, yeah, we're going to give like our own amateur review because we like to pay attention and evaluate all things marriage so we can make sure we're doing this thing right. You can learn something from just about anything, yeah. uh, books, movies, podcasts, and uh, we are continuing to learn and grow after 10 years of marriage. Yep. Um, it was so much hype about this. Uh, I, we were both really excited yeah. to see this. Yeah. <sighs> it, the movie premiered in theaters all across the U.S. and only became available on Netflix yesterday. So yep. we watched it the first day right it away. became available. Yeah. All I can say is I was more excited before I watched it. it was, I was a little <laughs> sad afterwards. If you are new to this channel, Rob and I are a blended family. We are debt-free 40-something empty nesters and we have two adult children, ages 19 and 24. You should not think about that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so what's going to happen is uh, we're going to give our thoughts on the movie. <laughs> and I, we're gonna give five thoughts each. We just kind of got some takeaways on what, of what we thought, whether it was realistic or not, or whatever. And we have not shared our thoughts with one yeah, another. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if That's you have watched uh, our videos before, <laughs> if you know anything about us from our blog, Rob and I have so many similarities, we actually agree on a lot of things. Mm. However, when it comes to topics that are specific to uh, male versus female perspectives. <laughs> we are different, just like most husbands. Yes. Just like most couples, most husband what? and wives. Different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's get into it. Before we go any further, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right. My first thought was I did not like the way the wife <laughs> did not speak up. Mm. during the marriage. Mm. Communication is key, people. So she's trying to play this violin role that, hey, I did everything you wanted to do mm. all of your life, all of your career and all this, and I lost myself in the process. I didn't like that. I felt like, wow, they're making this guy out to be the villain mm. when she just didn't sp speak up for herself. What do you think about that? You know what? Uh, I actually do have a, a thought as it pertains to speaking up for yourself, but that wasn't my first thought. Hmm. How I want to respond to that hmm. is <laughs> the importance of compromise and sacrifice in a marriage. Mm -hmm. You cannot be married without understanding how important it is to compromise yeah. and make sacrifices on behalf of your spouse. It cannot be all about one person and their needs and what's important to them. And honestly, in this movie, I felt like the husband was rather self-absorbed. He was not a horrible guy, but he was definitely very focused on me, me, me. Okay. And the wife allowed that to go on for exactly. too long. Exactly. Allowed. Allowed. And then she cries about it once she got what was coming or whatever, right? And after all these years went by, now it's like, mm. wait, instead of nipping that in the bud early, mm. you can't just stand there and take it on the chin. Yeah, you wanna be the supportive wife or husband or whatever, but you gotta speak up or you get kind of steamrolled over, right? Yeah, but you if you watch the movie, you will find that there were different points throughout their 10-year marriage. They live in New York for 10 years, mm. at least as a couple. We don't know how long they were actually married. There were different points in that marriage where she made requests regarding what she wanted. She shared her feelings, 
and her thoughts and feelings were ignored. He kind of blew so, her off. Yeah. yeah. So that was another point that I know I had uh, listed. It's important to listen to your spouse. Yeah. There were opportunities for this marriage to be saved had the husband actually listened to his wife and taken her seriously when she expressed uh, a need for change. You know what they say? You can't change someone else, right? So what could she had done on her side mm -hmm. to make him hear her mm -hmm. instead of waiting 10 years? Yeah. That's all. That's my point number one. So Rob is right. We talk all the time about how you can't control another person. So she wanted very badly to have a career of her own. Mm -hmm. She also wanted to relocate back to California, which is where she was from. So she could have accepted a position in California sooner. What happened in the movie was that she waited 10 years for an opportunity and then decided to jump on it. But throughout the course of the movie, you do learn that other opportunities came up and she declined them. So if she wanted a career of her own, they could have discussed having a coast to coast marriage earlier. Ooh. And she could have gone off to pursue that. But honestly, I felt as though she was trying to stay with her husband and keep her family together by remaining in New York. We see how that ended, right? <laughs> so here's the deal. What do you think she could have done? Why? Wait, 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 wait. Why, why, why was she in New York? Do you remember? She went to New York to help him start his theater company. Okay, so she's working in California. Mm -hmm. and they then met she went in California. To, they met in California and then she worked and then she went back to New York to help him, him start his theater. Mm -hmm. And then she worked at the theater. And what they were saying in the movie was she was a big old, well, a semi big star, right? She big, was more known than he was yeah, in the beginning. Right, okay. So then, so because her light was dimming, being underneath him, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden she had a problem is what it sounded like to me. Yeah, so, and that's real. The yeah. honest to goodness truth is both both people's needs need to be given attention. Yeah. Yes, in New York he was um, the, he was a star director for off Broadway plays. Right. And his mo his plays actually got more attention in the beginning because of her initial fame coming okay. from um, having yeah. come from being a, a movie actress in California. And then they saw how talented right. he was on the directing side, right? Right. And she, and, star and and she, she started. started to become less important. Right. But she had different talents and skills and things that she wanted to express and he wasn't open to that. <sighs> I just don't, I just don't know. This just sounds like it's so much of his fault to me, but it's not. It is. It, it is. Guys, <laughs> please understand uh, that the husband is the head and thus responsible she, for the direction of the covenant. Exactly. If you do not understand how important your role is as a husband, then you cannot allow he's your not, marriage he's not like to he was thrive and, and flourish the he, way that it needs to. So you need to give care to your wife. He sounded like he was heading to me, but then she, he, she he, didn't he, want to he, follow, right? He, she followed Submit. him. Submit! <laughs> <laughs> she followed him she, until she could no longer stand what it was doing to her personally. Uh, so, her, so now her individual she, happiness was at stake in the marriage and she t she tried to tell him. So once it's convenient, and he did not then listen. Then you could just not follow anymore. Don't you say? It saying? was not about convenience. So she had expressed it repeatedly, mm -hmm. and he did not listen. You don't have any thoughts on the importance so, of listening to your I spouse? I do. I do. But I, I'm still. You just you think it was okay that he just ignored her? I'm saying so. She goes to Cali, and that's how she gets things to change. Just go they to Cali. They were already lead. They were okay. So one thing you guys don't know about the movie is. When she finally gets fed up is when she gets an opportunity mm. to be in a big uh, money-making television series mm. back in California. Right. When she shares this with her husband, what does he do? Is he supportive? Mm. Does he go rah rah yay for you? In California, we're what in does New he York. Say? <laughs> he actually poo poos all over it because he's not a big fan of television. Yeah. He's a theater. What he director. said was he was. Snooty. I really don't know because I don't watch TV. She knows mm -hmm. if her husband doesn't watch TV. Yes. 
And she knows that he could have supported her in her opportunity. He, he could have, but he could have said, it's still "Good in job, California. baby. Congratulations. California. I'm happy for you." That's what he could have said. I own a theater here in New York. What and should now he I'm have said? Say, what should he have said? Hey, are you tapping me right yeah. now? Get your finger. Get <laughs> see, you see, the, you see the violence on camera. <laughs> Whatever. What should he have said when his wife got this opportunity? She said, "Baby, that's all the way in California. What, I don't understand what the plan." Is. Okay, so maybe Rob wasn't paying attention in the movie. Mm. At some point during the course of their marriage, he got an opportunity in the Netherlands and they moved there as a family for six uh, months. Yeah, that's right. So hmm. whenever he wanted to do something, yeah. the family made the move. Good point. The family accepted a compromise and sacrifice. Who was running New York? Oh. Clearly it wasn't important at that point. Mm, mm. But she gets an opportunity in California. Yeah. And now she's running away. Okay. I guess you made your point. Mm. So my next takeaway is on him. I don't like that. Okay, first of all, sound like they were not sleeping together for a year, mm. he said. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. That is unacceptable to me. And uh yeah. I'm not sure how that would go down, but I'm sure we'd never get to that point. Anyway, uh, a whole year, and then he cheated on his wife. Mm. I'm not down with that. I always tell my wife, if I was going to do something like that, I would leave first. Mm. I'd rather leave and then say we're done before I go cheating on her. You know what I'm mm. saying? Uh, now, first of all, you got to know who you're dealing with, too. Because... You know, his wife was obviously kind of soft because she just let it go down and, you know, but it's good. She didn't even want to put herself in jail or whatever. But some people don't think like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got to know who you're dealing with. <laughs> and if, if you're, if you're dealing with some kind of crazy, mm. then you got to be smart. Like I say, leave <laughs> and then call and say, hey, you know what? Crazy. Um, it ain't working out. Mm. Uh, I, we're done, and I'm I'm already gone. My stuff's already gone, or whatever. And boom, mm. because yeah, this is the thing. I don't know if you guys. I know it's the sad, sad truth is like that football player back in the day. Uh, they got killed by his girlfriend. Uh, he's cheating on her. Then he sleeps right there next to her, and boom, boom, right. And he was mm. at the height of his career. I ain't going out like that. I mean, I'm not saying my wife would do that, but I'm just saying you just. Dude. Listen, <laughs> I'm not crazy, but I understand. Listen. If you're going to cheat, if you can't make sex work in your marriage or if you feel the need to go outside, you should decide whether or not you really want to be married. Right. So definitely, I agree that's with That's my Rob. point. Yeah, I agree with <laughs> Rob in his position that you, you should not go a year without sex. That is unacceptable. Both yeah. parties need to be on page regarding how sexually active you want to be. Yeah. Uh, I, the only reason I could think you would go that long would be some kind of illness. Oh, yeah, right? it's different. Or, yeah, it's different. Yeah, now that would be the only reason you would, you know, not be um, sexually active with your spouse. Right. A medical reason. Yeah, but he should have just, you know, told her and said, listen, this is not working or whatever, and we need to find a solution. Mm -hmm. Or be done with it, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're cheating and you are emotionally, you know, giving yourself to somebody else, mm -hmm. and that's not cool, and that's not going to help the marriage. So that was, I think, that was horrible to him on yeah. that, on his part. You know, as a man, I, I'm not down with that. Yeah. So, and honestly, this goes back to the idea of um, there are different ways to communicate. While she may not have spoken up the way that she should have, and I agree with, I agree with Rob. Actually, one of my points is, don't be a punk. Mm. <laughs> you need to understand who it is you are married to mm -hmm. and speak up for yourself. That is key. I agree with Rob in that point. But also, you can communicate in a lot of different ways. And when you shut down sex, you are communicating something. Yeah. You are saying a whole lot by not making yourself available in that way. Yeah. So um, there were so many opportunities for this couple to recover just by, you know, connecting yeah. and reconnecting on these issues. And uh, they just didn't, they didn't do it. Right. And that's when you, when you say art and when we say art imitates life, you can see this happening in real life. You can see yeah. how this happens to couples. That's what made it so sad. Like I was, 
it, 30 minutes in, man, I was like, this is horrible. I mean, and they were saying how many awards and this and that, and yeah. I guess it's truthful, you know, and it's realistic, but it just, I don't know. I get, to, it wasn't very entertaining to me like that. It was yeah. just sad. I was like, this, this is horrible, right? They, they're saying, oh, Rotten Tomatoes. You know, but Rotten Tomatoes, I just don't trust him like that anyway. So, uh, but, The movie is getting a lot of recognition and acclaim yeah. just from yeah. critics right now. It hasn't yeah. come up for a specific awards yet, but right. based on the kind of acclaim that they're giving it, we, we anticipate that it will probably come up for some award yeah. nominations. But it is not a feel-good movie. No, it just, it, it just seemed like a regular, a regular couple's life to me. I mean, it seemed very real, but... And that's why and that's why guess, it's getting so much attention, right? Because it does seem real for so many people. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, that was my second point. <laughs> so, just responding to Rob's point, I actually made three of mine. Uh, one of which was compromise and mm. sacrifice are required. Uh, three. <laughs> the, another being the importance of listening to your spouse when they are communicating uh, with you. And then a third was to celebrate your spouse. Mm. When your spouse uh. receives an opportunity that they are happy about, you need to be equally uh, happy for them. Yeah. Even uh, if it's in California. Yes. If that's where the opportunity takes you, if you are willing to relocate or to, to move temporarily for an opportunity for your career, mm. you have to be willing to do the same for the other person. Mm. There has to be fairness and equity in the relationship as much as possible. Otherwise, there will, it, it'll breed resentment. Resentment. That's what I was thinking. Right? And yeah. what you had here was two people who were aspiring to do great things in their careers. Right. Now, there are some marriages where that doesn't exist, right? right? right. Both parties don't necessarily have the same goals and aspirations. Right. And if that's the case, fine. Somebody can, you know, one person can be the supporter for mm. the other. Yeah. But when you have two people with drive and ambition. Yeah. And talent. Yeah, yeah. If you don't celebrate that other person. Yeah. Your marriage will fall it's apart. Blow up. Yeah. No matter who you are, yeah. it'll, it'll blow up. But and you know, that makes me think of, was it Chris Rock? Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we watched his comedy oh, special? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying about uh, how he was a star and he was making mm -hmm. money and he was his wife was just home supporting everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, things were great at first. And then the bigger he got, mm -hmm. the more arrogant he got. He said his own, he said himself. Mm -hmm. And he says, even though she was the best wife ever, mm -hmm. eventually... He was talking to her crazy, and mm -hmm. he's telling her, hey, you know what? I make the money. Sit down and shut up and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ouch. He also talked about, though, how she went to continue her education. She had gotten a master's degree. She yeah. had participated, began to participate in charitable organizations within the community. Yeah. So she had started to do her own thing. Right. And he never celebrated that. Mm -hmm. And so right. one of the things he says in the comedy show is that you have to beat the drum for your spouse. Right. And then eventually, boom. They fell apart, and now he's he's you know he's dating a new actress or whatever. But he's saying he's it's the worst thing that's, that's ever happened mm -hmm. to him. You know, losing to her to live apart from his wife Ouch. and children. Yeah. they had two they had two girls together, yeah. and because of the existence of the internet and the fact that they are famous, his yeah. children will one day read about this yeah. divorce and his infidelity. Yeah, but he let his role and his success go to his head, mm -hmm. even though she was still doing her thing behind him. So. Yeah. So let's get back to the movie. Yeah. The, this, the topic of this is marriage story. So my third takeaway uh, from the movie is, it, this is a lot of things I don't like, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> but we, we love doing this about, you know, we watch something or whatever, see how we feel about if we agree or disagree. But It's like having a book club discussion. Yeah, yeah. I think... It was wrong of the wife again mm -hmm. <laughs> to take that child all the way to Cali mm. when there wasn't a clear discussion on what was happening. And, you know, this forced him to have to come there and fight on Cali soil, mm -hmm. right? With all their rules about marriage and children and all that, and it screwed him out of the grant that he had mm -hmm. and the money that he had. And then, of course, those lawyers, oh, that's another story, right? Mm -hmm. They just got all in the business. And then she followed that lawyer, even though they, they, they said that they were gonna, you know, Try peacefully, yeah, divide yeah. everything up and do whatever if, you know, once, once they did come to that point. 
But it was wrong for her to take the kid. I, I don't know how he let the kid go to Cali. Yeah. Because there's no way. If you're going to Cali for a job, you're going to Cali for a job. My kid's staying. Until so let's we, talk, so let's talk about out. that. And actually, I want to ask you guys, um, are any of you divorced? If so, um, was it amicable? Is it possible to have an amicable end to a marriage? I think so. So this was actually, this is my first marriage. And yeah. God willing, the only marriage, right? Till death do us part. And my second, um, if you don't but know. But yeah, if Rob is divorced and, you know, could you guys have done that peacefully? Uh, we could have. But if there wasn't a third party involved, once okay. the third party was involved, then, you know, no. And it wasn't my third party. So, mm. okay. Uh, but no, no, not, not the way it, you know, okay. it could have, it could have been, but. So back to the fact that uh, she took the child to California. Yeah. So in the movie, Wrong. what happens is she gets an opportunity to film a television series in California. Right, right. Yeah. And she takes the child with her while she's filming. What? And this is actually because, um, the way I understood it, right, hmm. in watching the movie, this is because the husband is so busy directing in his plays mm. that he would not have been able to serve as a primary caregiver for um, for his son while he was filming. He didn't have much of a family. When she went to California, she went home to her family. Her mother and sister were there. So okay. even so, you know, even though she was working as well, she had family to help support her and help take care of her child while um, while she was filming uh, her television show. Right. Well, I don't know. I don't remember if he didn't have any family, but he seemed to have plenty of people around him people in the theater in the theater yeah. and stuff like that who seemed like very very close friends they were always eating dinner and stuff together remember mm -hmm. in the cafes and all that i think he could have had support uh i don't think a child should be i'm like how's this kid even going to school so i don't know of course they didn't write about that but they signed yeah. him up for school remember okay. they talked about the fact that he went oh, to yeah, school yeah, in california school. he liked the school yeah mm -hmm. but yeah i still i still don't agree with that i still don't agree he yeah. he should have he should have went i think he should have stayed until there was a clear plan yeah plan of what was going to happen with yeah. us, right? Yeah. Because she seemed like she used that just to sneak away and then break it off. He didn't even realize that mm -hmm. she was breaking it off until he no, got those papers. No. He got those papers. So no, this is the deal. <laughs> That's he when he knew, realized it was real, no, real. He, right, I was gonna say, he knew they were separating, hmm. but he was in denial. If you watch the movie, what's clearly going on is when she okay. left to go to California, definitely need he was in from... denial regarding no. the uh, extent of things. They were talking about it on the phone, and, he, and they said, okay, we don't need lawyers. We don't have much anyway. He was like, you can pretty much take anything you want. And he was, when, when he, before he, before there was an attorney engaged, uh, before there was an attorney engaged, he was fine with her going to California because he thought they she were going to come back. back to New York. Right. So. After her show. After right. He, after she filmed her show, he thought, he did think she was coming back to California. Well, I, I would have said, hey, do your show. My son's going to stay here. And then when you get back, then boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And, and had he saw himself as a caregiver, then maybe he would have said that. Yeah. But um, again, he was assuming that he would just, you know, that they would take this year, uh, she would film the show, and then eventually they would be back in New York. Right. Because this was the thing. He always made it clear that New York was where he wanted to be. Right. Regardless of the fact that at one point during the course of the marriage, he actually had an opportunity to do a play or performance in California for one year. Yeah, you remember they discussed yeah, that? He probably should have did that. <laughs> you remember they discussed that? Yeah. She really wanted him to accept that assignment so that they could spend a year in California. Mm. And We only heard about that when the lawyer came though, right? Right. They so didn't the, talk about that the earlier. Way, the movie when the when the movie starts, they're already separated. Okay. Right. So yeah, yeah. you don't actually get to see all the things that worked up to it, but they talk about it during the course of the of the movie. Okay. So we reside in the state of Texas, mm. and here in the state of Texas, in order to uh, take a child out of state, you you do have to have the uh, parents' permission to do so, mm. um, but. She took him before divorce proceedings began. Right. And then she filed for the divorce once she got to dirty, California. Dirty, man. Dirty. <laughs> I don't think it was her intention to be dirty. Yeah. Yeah. If you're married to this man and you guys have that child, you should not be taking him across state lines. 
That's dirty. He knew that she was taking the child to California. <sighs> he did not know that she was going to file for divorce with an attorney when she got there. Right. And she didn't I know that. dirty. She didn't plan it, babe. You <laughs> yeah. Know she was introduced to the attorney by a third party. She did not look up an attorney before she got there. Call it what you want to call it out. <laughs> she accepted the attorney. She accepted her advice. And now she's got my kid across state lines. Yeah. And now I'm getting divorce papers and my grant getting stolen and bam. It was it was it was, it was a painful experience. You could tell it was painful to watch. Yeah, the fact that they were going back from coast to coast between New York and California. Mm -mm -mm. You know, if you guys have feedback on that or you want to share, please comment below. Yeah, please, somebody, anybody with me, right? I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure, probably not. <laughs> 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 he, he was kind of you know arrogant, so mm -hmm. that's the main. That's what they're making the whole movie about. But anyway. So, at, oh, this was one of my points. One of the things that I took away from hmm. the movie, at no point did he fight for his marriage. At no point did he say, I want to stay married to you. Let's mm. work on it. Let's give it Let's give it a try. I mean, mm. they're in counseling at some point uh, during the early on in the movie, but never does he take her into his arms, embrace her, and say, I still love you and I want this. Hmm. Does she fight for the marriage? Exactly. Nobody fought for the marriage. So guess what? Their pride has ruined their marriage because everybody wants to be proud instead of saying, listen, mm -hmm. I really want this to work out. A anybody can say that to me. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. I really want this to work out. I don't want to be like this. I don't want it to end like this. You know, we're so good together. They, they, they seemed great together. I mean, in the beginning, everybody was tough, especially all the compliments he was getting about knowing how to cook and he's the cleanest person she knows. And she was a slob and all this and that. It's like, man, how'd you even get with her? But anyway. She was, loved him. Yeah, you know, yeah. you could tell that she still loved him even going through the divorce. She had just lost so much of herself over the course of the relationship. Right. She, and he wasn't willing to give on that. At that point, she could have said, listen, man, this is what I need. I want us to stay together. I want us to be a family. I want you know you to be near your son, but this is what I need. Something's got to change right now, or I'm going to California. Did she do that? When she she did it by going to California. She said, "I am taking this job in California. I have passed up more than yeah. enough opportunities. So I who knows when I'll get another opportunity like this. I've been out of the game and yeah. doing this Broadway thing with you for ten years. Right. If he had just expressed happiness for her just, and compromised no, and you said, just steamroll me." Steam roll. And say you gotta go to California. No, you are not just gonna no. go to California. When she told him that she had the <laughs> opportunity, he should have said, you no. know what? I understand how important that is to you. It's kept. And I think that, that you again. should do it. Okay. I think you should do it and I will go to California with okay, you. Okay, you go ahead and go. Why didn't he come? Me why didn't he offer to go here. with her? Why yeah. wouldn't he offer to go with her? Because he She's been in New York with him for he's, ten years. He's just getting his big break. No, right he's now. not just getting his big he, break. They've been doing it for ten years. He was going to Broadway, didn't he? No, that is they they've been doing this for 10 years Listen, man. <laughs> why didn't he Obviously, agree to go to california with his wife I, yeah no why not can't, can't just uproot my whole theater I've, why i've established this but theater. he's already done it once before All right well that's a great disagree mm. so one of my points was it is crucial that you both discuss your goals. Mm. I think there were a lot of assumptions made in this movie about how important one one person's career was over the other. Okay. I think because he was a director, he made the assumption that what he was doing was more important than mm. what she did as a TV as a television actress. Okay. And also the fact that she was even willing to come to New York to be in his plays. He just thought she left her career behind outside of being an actress uh, on stage for him. Yeah. So it sounds like they didn't really have an open discussion on future goals and plans. Yep. Um, once when, when she agreed to come to New York, she probably should have said then, like, mm -hmm. hey, I'm willing to come and help you build this thing, mm -hmm. but I got this amount of time before I go back and do my own mm -hmm. thing. I think that would have been a good way to handle that mm -hmm. and so he would have been such a so so blindsided you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um but is that communication is that, yeah again this ties yeah. back to communication actually talking about what you want now and in the future right and did you see how much her his mother loved him mm -hmm. i mean uh, her mother her mother loved him mm -hmm. 
I mean, he was extremely tight. And that was her sister too, right? Right. They talked about the fact that he didn't have much family. Yeah. Um, he grew up without a lot and was a self-made man. Right. So he really attached to her family. Yeah. Oh, let's not even talk about that little boy either. He was so spoiled. <laughs> We're and, not here to critique he, the child. He was, I'm just saying, he was really tight with his dad. And then as time goes by, probably, which is realistic, naturally, he was more becoming a more mom's kid, right? And then didn't want to do what his dad said and get in the car. Mm. And ouch. That, that's, yeah. ow. You know what? Separations or divorces, I'm sure, are harder on the parent who, on, on the non custodial parent. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say, you know, always having had custody of our oldest, I never experienced the kind of loss that yeah. I could imagine that mm. my husband has experienced yeah. with our youngest son being mm -hmm. so very far away from us. Right. Yeah. So it's definitely something to keep in mind um, yeah. as married people that, you know, you don't stay married just for the children. It's cheaper to keep them, man. But you certainly can <laughs> no. use the children as motivation to make your marriage better. Mm -hmm. Right? To work yeah. on those things to do all you can to stay together because right. there's nothing like parenting in the home. Yeah. Versus trying to parent long distance yeah. the way we do with Even our youngest. Even on weekends, mm -hmm. right? That, that matters, you know? Yeah. Uh, but at least if you're close by, then that would probably be easier. Mm -hmm. But, you know, state to state, it's rough. Yeah. Really, really rough. Yeah. So. so if you're married or thinking about getting married, this movie... Even though, it, it, while it's called Marriage Story, mm -hmm. it is about a couple going through a divorce. Yeah. And I think the most beneficial thing that came out of the movie is being aware of all of those things that yeah. could lead to a divorce. It will and help all you the things you can do to stop it. Get your mind right, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and we love, this, we love watching stuff like this, mm -hmm. especially while we're you know, in a good place. So that way we can dodge those bullets, right? Mm -hmm. Just in case any of this stuff is coming our way. Yeah. And I think more people should, uh, you know, I, it took me a little while to get adjusted to this type of thing. But I, like I said, I, I want this to work just as much as she does. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to put in the work. You know, you gotta be willing to put it in the work. You can't be told macho and manly or whatever and think, oh, you know, we'll just figure it out. Cause, eventually you won't right eventually yeah. it's gonna fall apart and what's the use of even getting married what's the i mean i don't understand it like why waste your time like it's just side note like when athletes get married or actors get married and then they just get busted cheating over and over and over again i'm like dude if i i get it you're you know you're popular you're rich and what but why get married don't get married just play the field man you know uh or get married and do what you're supposed to do, right? Like uh, Steph Curry, right? Steph Curry, I, mean, I don't know his background, but he seems like a pretty good dad and husband or whatever. So, you know, be all the way in if you're going to be all the way in and, and put the work in. So, yeah, honestly, as a wife, I know how important it is to my husband that we uh, remain strong as a married couple. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes me want to be a better wife because I know how committed he is to our covenant. And he leads just like a man who finds marriage important right right I, oh yeah i was gonna say my last point with this movie is uh and they just didn't bring it up at all but to me it's like just like anything in life everybody wants to do everything on, on their own mm. you have to really know god right mm. you have to have god in your marriage mm. or you're just flailing out here on your own mm -hmm. that's the thing like i'm not you have to understand that there's something bigger than the two of you, right? Yeah. And a lot of marriages seem to be lacking that, mm -hmm. you know, but the thing is when you take your vows, you're taking a vow under God, mm -hmm. right? So. Yeah. If this was a faith-based co covenant, there was no discussion of that. Right. But when you get married, mm -hmm. everybody just go through the motions. Yeah. Say the words. Yeah. But and if not, you get married in a courthouse, you can actually omit some oh, of those words, really? right? Or you wow. can write your own vows and okay. those vows don't have anything to do with God. Okay. Well, you possibly be, be doomed, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not to say that Christians don't get divorced. Right, right, you know, right. It happens no, no. in, you know, in all faiths. Right. I'm, I, but I'm saying anybody, I'm not saying they have to be Christian. They have to be 
they have to have some kind of structure though. Yeah. So that was, that was my last point. Um, because without some type of structure, you're, you're in trouble. Yeah. So, so um, we actually, because, you know, we were discussing this movie freely, uh, a lot of uh, my points kind of got rolled into the conversation. <laughs> and uh, I recapped some of them for you, um, the first three. And my last two were um, along the lines of discussing your um your goals with one another mm -hmm. and so that was uh my fourth one and then my fifth one i actually mentioned earlier as well which was don't be a punk <laughs> you keep saying that <laughs> stand up for yourself and that's yeah. for the man or the woman whomever is in that position where you feel like you are not being heard by your spouse yeah it never works and out. that's in any situation yeah. right whether it is your career or how you raise your children or whether or not you go to church yeah. or you know even what you want to eat if you feel as though you are being steamrolled and you're not being heard eventually that resentment will come to a head indeed so that's our mini review on the movie marriage story have you watched it will you watch it Please give us some feedback on what you think about our conversation and what you got from it. See, See you in the, the next, next video. video.